Welcome back to my channel. In the previous video, we wired each motor to its driver. In this video, I'll show you how to manually control the AR4 MK3 robot using a joystick and an Arduino Uno, before we move on to using the Teensy 4.1 as the main controller. This is just a test to move the motors. Let's get started. Here is the wiring from the joysticks to the Arduino Uno. I'm using three joysticks to control six motors, because each joystick has two axes, the Y-axis and the X-axis. That gives us a total of six control signals, perfect for our six motors. For the joystick cases, I used custom 3D printed parts to keep everything neat and organized. You can download the joystick case design, the link is in the video description. To connect the joysticks to the Arduino, I used 8 core cables, which helps reduce cable clutter and makes wiring much easier. Here is the wiring from the drivers to the Arduino. Connect the opto pin to the 3 volts pin on the Arduino. For the pull and deer pins on each driver, connect them to Arduino pins starting from pin 2 up to pin 13. You can refer to the diagram for details. And here are the dip switch settings for each driver. Here you can see the wiring setup, starting from each driver to the Arduino Uno. I'm using an Arduino Uno terminal shield to make the connections easier and more organized. You can also see the wiring from the joysticks to the Arduino Uno. Using a shield like this not only simplifies the wiring process, but also keeps everything secure and neat. Keep in mind, the Arduino Uno is only used temporarily for testing purposes. The actual controller we'll be using later is the Teensy 4.1. And for the additional part to control the gripper, I'm using a servo tester. This makes it easier to operate the gripper without needing to control it through a microcontroller. And this is the Arduino Uno code to control the motors using the joysticks. This simple program is written so that all motors can move simultaneously. That means if multiple joysticks are moved at the same time, the corresponding motors will move together without any sequencing. Now let's try moving each motor using the joysticks. Make sure that each motor responds correctly to the joystick input. Also, double check that none of the cables are pinched, pulled too tight, or getting in the way of moving parts. Proper cable management is important to avoid damage during operation. After successfully testing and moving all the motors using the joysticks, we can now move on to testing the gripper. This time, we'll use a servo tester to operate the gripper manually. Simply turn the knob on the servo tester and make sure the gripper opens and closes smoothly. It's a quick and easy way to check the gripper without needing to program a microcontroller. After testing each motor individually, the next step is to try moving multiple motors at the same time. This helps us make sure that everything works properly when several joysticks are used together. When moving two motors at the same time, you'll notice that the robot's motion becomes smoother and more natural. This is because coordinated movement across multiple axes allows for more fluid transitions, which is especially important in tasks that require precision. It also gives us a better idea of how the robot will perform in real applications. That wraps up this video. We've successfully wired the motors, connected the joysticks to the Arduino Uno, and tested the AR4 MK3 robot manually. We also tried operating the gripper using a simple servo tester, which helps speed up the testing process without the need for complex programming. This setup is still temporary, as we'll soon move on to using the Teensy 4.1 as the main controller for more advanced control and performance. The goal of this phase is to make sure everything, motors, wiring, and mechanical movement, is working properly before we continue to the next stage. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video was helpful for those of you building or learning about robotic arms. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. See you in the next video.